I'm gonna wrap something around my head like this orange. Make sure to eat oranges, it's really good for body and skin. Y'all get it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just feel really uncomfortable with my hair right now, so uh, this is what y'all get. Um, plus, Alex is getting crumble cookie right now. Right? So, yeah. I don't think I explained to y'all why I even started making these videos. Honestly, it was because I had like, um, there was this YouTube series that JPEG Mafia did, right, called How to Build a Relationship. And he also did another one where it was like blankets disappointed. I wanted to mix both of them together. Now, um, yeah, that's basically it. I was supposed to have Darian in this video, but, um, He's in practice, and he doesn't get home till like seven, eight. And I'm not trying to have him like as soon as he gets out of practice, come listen to my album, right? And um, you know, dead ass tired. Like I'm not gonna expect him to pay full attention. So I'm gonna just have Alex. I I showed Darren the album already, right? And I got a, I got a lot of love from the homie. You know, he's been there with me for a long like for a long time right and then, yeah so i'm gonna um, make sure to put his instagram in the description and shit so y'all we got wait shit i don't have my shoes on that for sure bro. okay i'll take my shoes off for you <laughs> <laughs> don't trip, bro. this is like the real guys yeah uh, we got dro hey ale jj archive on IG, I guess. On IG, right. Draw on Spotify. Draw on Spotify on everything. Yeah, make sure to listen to that. More music right. on the way. More. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, I said, I heard it here first. Mm -hmm. Even Zero on Spotify. Right yep. Um, he's on Puppet too. Y'all, y'all gotta listen to that. <laughs> we also got. Mm -hmm. Crumble Cookie. We also got Crumble for the sesh. Crumble. We Amazing. gonna listen to some music. We gonna eat some cookies, and then. Um, but yeah, so um, basically for today's video, we have obviously the homie Alex. And the thing is, I never really was close to Alex. We didn't get close until this year, cause Damien, as I said in the previous clip, right? He's actually. The bridge between the both of us because we didn't yeah. even know each other like the key. yeah exactly yeah like the like the glue like he put yeah. the shit together pretty much yeah yeah he's the glue no travis patty right <laughs> Fire. no for one i don't really know him like that and i want to get closer to him right even if it's just in a musical way or a friend way right and he's the homie he's the homie he's one of those people that you know just like like this, we like this. Like this. Like this, mm -hmm. right? Like spiritually type shit. Like, like we just like we just have to Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna eat some crumble cookie right now. And While then, listening to wait or before. Uh know. let's do it before because I wanna have like a full attention span. Hell yeah. Yeah, right, exactly. Wow. That was really good. Yeah. Like the weaviest like you just so like fuck that shit was crazy. I don't even know what this is, I don't even know 
start? Um, I guess we could start with, um, did it meet your expectations? Fucking surpassed. <laughs> it's the next level, bro. What the fuck? What was your top three songs? Well, I didn't really get like a, like some of them just transition. Yeah. And I, I would know, I, I would know it's a different song. I just wouldn't know the name. But, Ghost Room is in the top three, dude. Yeah. Fuck that shit. <laughs> this one? <laughs> I would, I, I would. There it was right. Those last three tracks are actually kind of uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Ghost I, Limb was like. I told, I told, I told. Like, yeah. You matches, you it's like it sounds. It sounds so beautiful. tough in the start, but the more you go into yeah, it, it's kind of like, like, like fuck. Like, you're like, damn, this beat sounds like it's like overwhelming itself. Listen to my album like the week before, and then yeah, just have the have the album come out. That was really good. Right, and I, I like I feel like that was immature for me because it was like it didn't maintain like the concept. The concept of it was supposed to be my grandma, and then I just made it into you know. It was it was a mess. Yeah, it really was. A mess. It, it it was a mess. It was cohesive, but it was still a mess. Right. I agree. This album is like the complete opposite of that. Like not even with very the mess, focused. but it's very, yeah, it's very like focused on the topic. Like it's like we're not getting off topic. We're gonna be talking about very vulnerable things, and we're gonna be talking about very serious things that maybe have not been spoken about as much in rap music itself. So, it's right, like let's just say, like during the whole emo phase of like yeah. rap, like you know, X, Lil Peep, and all those yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was always like talking about them killing themselves, but it's never like talking about them going through the the, the pain, pain of losing somebody. Except maybe X, because X made Jocelyn and Flores. Yeah. Right. I think X like explored that theme. Yeah, wow. he. I saw seventeen. Yeah. I think it's a dance. But I, I forgot. But I don't think he expl he he didn't convey the emotion. I agree. Of like grief. I agree. I wanted this album to convey that emotion. Like, my voice sounded like it just sounded like distorted and dead. It sounded like death. Like I forgot who described it as death. I think it was one of my homies, like my music homies. Mm -hmm. But they described it as like it sounds like death. No change. Oh Shit. yeah, for sure. Thank cool. And then just like really conveying the emotion of grief and like mourning. Like I did that shit with angst. Angst was low key like an album of just grief and mourning because obviously it was for my grandma. Yeah. Right. But obviously I was fourteen when I made angst. So you really didn't like express your feelings. It was in, like. Uh like in a mature way you mean like, like in a mature way or more just like the the idea was there the execution wasn't because mm. i was so young i okay. didn't have the like necessary materials and the necessary knowledge to understand what i was doing mm. right like the main complaint from angst is obviously the mixing and if you're on the production table of it it was you're using too many samples right and I could understand that, but as a fourteen-year-old kid, you're not gonna make this. <laughs> yeah. Like, like when when I think of like my like my own music, and not even sound egotistical or anything, but it's more like I was fourteen when I made Angst. Compare that to a fourteen-year-old making their own project. Like, it's like night and day in a way. Yeah. Where it's like this sounds so much more mature than what a normal fourteen-year-old. Uh, I agree. Do. I agree. I think right. it's a cool part of your discography. Yeah, like it, it definitely was a dark time in my discography, but fuck it, like I went through it, and that's that's what made it so good to me. And I don't like it to this day. I I I think that catching a couple of lyrics here and there, lyrics, but then I gotta re-listen and I really read into the lyrics, and it's like a whole that'd be like a whole different. It's a whole. It's experience. basically a whole different project when you listen to the lyrics yeah. finally. That's like it's for a lot of albums, including what we're talking about with Tyler album. I feel yeah. like I really need to sit with it, read the lyrics, feel it. But so like, yeah, I, I, learned, was, I was kind of underwhelmed. I already learned that uh, the Lil Wayne feature on that album. <laughs> it's a sticky situation. This combination. <laughs> She's like, oh. Usually he's like a feature guy. Mm, I think that's what made it so underwhelming. I think that's exactly we're expecting like fucking Frank movie. fucking he the, mentioned the, 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 the all the song future. Of Cardi. Like it's only on, on the vinyl. I low key want to hear Yo, it. Yo, 
this motherfucker is kept mentioning odd future. I was like, okay. Okay, what? Okay, like, 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 what? give me a cipher. Yeah, give the whole, like, all. OD part two. Like, give me OD Yo, part two. I, I didn't, I've heard, but, like, two of his albums. Um, his debut and one after that, but I haven't heard him recently. The, like, the main reason I even got into Rocky was because that, who that boy. Oh, shit. That's so fucking weird. verse, bro. Because. His verse on that shit is. That video so is fire. Fucking, yes, bro, I was. I remember it came out. I remember watching it with my sister when it came out. It was like, what, 2017? Right? Yeah. Yeah, 2017, yeah, yeah. 2016, maybe. No, no I think I think it was early 2017 when uh, the video came out. Right? I remember watching that shit with my sister. My sister didn't love it, but she played that shit over and over again just because that ASAP Rocky verse. I love Potato Sound to this day. <laughs> I fucking wish she got an ASAP Rocky feature on this album on Chrome Fuck, they have one, bro. I wasn't waiting for that, that shit. shit. Yeah, Taylor Swift was tough. The yeah, Taylor Swift is so far. The one was... he did with J Cole was so oh good. Oh my god, that shit was Ruby Fuck, Rosary. I forgot what the yes, yeah, yes, yeah, Ruby Rosary. That, that shit was nasty, so tough. bro. It's really good. I'm expecting greatness from that album. I don't know. I don't know why. Yeah, me too. Me too. Don't be uh, sorry. Testing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's, yeah. What was on testing? That's like okay, so that's some weird shit on there. Beeper. I like the one with with, with Twigs, bro. I Hendrix. <sighs> Y'all don't understand. Y'all oh, purity. See How the fuck? Yeah, oh, my God. That, that, that beautiful song, bro. That's like... Fucking... <laughs> Hendrix was a really big inspiration for this album. My grandma. Huh? Funny. Oh. Hold on. And I remember talking to one of my... uh One of the collaborators for this album. Her name is Camille. Right? She... Me and her were talking about how personal and how vulnerable... Future is with his lyrics, but nobody understands that. Oh, yeah, bro, he'd be really vulnerable. With his Yo, lyrics, he, like, I remember her saying, like, when these rappers say, like, I take a, I take a pill just to go to sleep. Like, that shit is deeper than people really think. It's like, damn, like, it's this really motherfucker is like, like. It's really big. Like, yes, yeah, bro. Like, 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 the way they talk about drug addiction is crazy. Yes, bro. And, like, I, I think that's the beauty of trap music. Because the whole point of trap music is to talk about how they're stuck in such a bad environment right and that and that's the only way they know how to talk about it yeah Dude, people that's just really really the artist trap music. yes i think future is like such a vulnerable artist a lot of his, a lot of his music is very he has a fucking album called save me and you're save telling me bro, yes like he literally like, that shit yeah you're thinking four years ago and be like yo let's go just bump some take maybe actually but he's gonna I be still, so I old still, i still bump take you, he's not even gonna sound the way he does bro like I don't know. he's not gonna be like I don't know. I still listen Trash. to Take Care a lot. Hell yeah, bro. That one album, fucking Santana World. It's like, ever. imagine he somehow gets free for being a good boy. <laughs> Be a good boy. Oh my god. That was the first grade. grade. Oh, that was first. first. Oh, yeah. wow. Uh, oh, first grade. I Wait, was actually, no, first, it was second. I'm tripping balls. It was second. First grade, I was Lil Wayne. Second grade, I started getting to Tyler. Bro, I used to be a 21 Pilots guy. Oh my god. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Third grade. I got into speaker knockers and that was the worst oh thing to God. ever happen in my life. Rest in peace, speaker. Yo, yo, you heard? He was so fucking good, bro. Oh my God, they took it down. No, he didn't. Oh, this one is really funny. Yeah, that's 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 that's
I'd come out to the And I love Cardi too. That's the problem. I'd probably listen to Cardi before I, I listen to myself. I would drop randomly though. Would he drop a whole lot of red? He dropped a whole lot of red in a December. Week. Yeah, a week prior. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. Like, you already have it scheduled for that day type shit? I don't know if he has it scheduled for well, that I'm day. I'm saying you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I have it scheduled for that day. I'm yeah. hoping he drops like on a weekday. Like, not Friday. Like, maybe drop like... Drop, you can drop the day before. Because the way he's looking at things, he's dropping December, bro. Yeah, I know. Fuck. That's really fucked. Yeah. That piece Bye! Of, that piece of shit or maybe he, Or maybe he might do like a the same thing he did with a whole lot of red. Where like he just drops it. it and just drops it on Christmas. Oh, I would love that. Yeah, just give me that shit. Fuck, isn't he performing for Rolling Loud? Fuck, Rolling Out is the same day as my album release. He's not dropping that shit tonight, but damn. He's not performing you, by the way. Mm -hmm. Crumble sponsor review. Apple. Amazing album. We got the Apple sponsor and the Crumble sponsor today. Like Apple sponsor <laughs> is fire. 